Hello everyone! Today in this video we will see some basic formulas of Excel as a computer operator or if you are an Excel user you need to know them. After you learn these formulas you are able to do your work very fast. Before we start the video if you still not subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe for more interesting videos, also click on the bell icon. So whenever I upload new video you will be notified. First of all, we are going to learn COUNTIF formula, this formula used for same value and text in the table. It will check how many times the same value and text are in this table. Imagine I have type here some value and text, and here if you see the 50 number is more than one time. If you want to see how many times 50 number has been typed so then in this case we will use COUNTIF formula. Whenever we type any formula in Excel, first of all, we need to type equal sign. After this, we type formula name. In this case, we are going to type COUNTIF. Now open bracket and select the range of table where you need to find same value, then add a comma and inverted comma. Then type that value which you want to count. In this case, we will look for 50 number value, inverted comma, and close the bracket and press enter. As you can see, 50 number value has been typed four times in this table. We can also do same with text table equal sign and count if formula, open bracket, then select the range of table. Then give the criteria, in this case we will see how many times p is in this range of table, as you can see the p is 5 times in this table. Now the second formula we have SUMIF, which is very useful formula, it's let you to sum the same value in the selected range of table. For the help of this formula you can do sum in any table of data on a specific value. As you can see in this table we have many times value 5. So we have to just sum only 5 in this range of table but we don't know how many times 5 is there. So in this case we use sum if formula let's see how it is work. As I told you before whenever we type any formula in Excel. First of all we need to type equal sign then the formula name. After that open bracket, select the range of table. Now type criteria, in this case we will sum 5 so we will type 5 then add inverted comma. And then close the bracket. Press enter. As you can see it's only plus that specific value 5. Next formula, we have product this formula use for multiply. Let's see if we want to multiply this 5 to other one 5 so we will use this product formula. So let's see how it's work. First of all type equal sign then type product. Open bracket. Select those values which you want to multiply. Then close the bracket and press enter. As you can see we have 25 in the result. Other powerful formula we have. Which is max formula. For help of this formula we can figure out. Which one value is bigger in the selected range of table data. Let's see how it's work. First of all type equal sign. Then type the name of formula which is max, so type here max then open bracket and select the range of data. Then close the bracket and press enter. As you can see in this range of data we have 900 value is bigger than others. So whenever you want to see bigger value in the data, you can use this max formula. And if you want to look for minimum value in the table data, then in this case we will use second formula which is min. We will write it same as we type max formula. Let's see type equal sign then type min and then open bracket and select the table data range. Close the bracket and press enter. So now you can see this the minimum value form other values. Next formula we have which is today. For the help of this formula, we can insert current date in the Excel sheet of selected cell. Select the cell where you want to insert the date and type equal sign then type formula name. Close the bracket and press the enter. Here you can see it's added the current date. Other formula we have which is now. It's the same formula. It will add the current date as well the add the current time to the cell. Select the cell and type equal sign. Then type formula name which is now. Then close the bracket and press enter. As you can see it's added the current date and time as well. Next formula we have which is count. This formula used for count the cells. It's mean it will count how many cells have a data. It will count only those cells which has data. It will not count blank cells. 
Let's see how it is work. Type equals sign then type count. Then select the data range. Close the bracket and press enter. As you can see it's just count those cells which has data. Next formula we have Roman. For the help of this formula you can convert any number into Roman. Imagine I have type here numbers from 1 to 10. Now I want to convert these numbers into Roman. So how it will work? Let's see. Type equals sign then type the formula name. Open the bracket and select this number cell. Then close the bracket and press enter. Next formula we have which is trim. For the help of this trim formula we can erase the unwanted space. If we want to remove the unwanted space from these text cells, then we will use this trim formula. Type equals sign and then name of formula. Open bracket then select this text cell. Close the bracket and press enter. As you can see we have removed the unwanted space from the text cell. Next formula we have which is upper. For the help of this formula we can convert small letters text into capital letters. Let's see how it's work. Type equals sign the the name of formula. Open bracket then select the small letter cell. Then close bracket. As you can see these all convert into capital letters. Next we have which is lower it's the same as upper formula. But the lower formula will convert capital letters into small letters. Repeat same as you did for the upper formula. And other formula we have which is proper formula. For the help of this proper formula we can convert this random typed text into proper case letter. Type equals sign then the name of formula. Open the bracket select the text cell. Then close the bracket and press enter. Then copy the formula down. As you can see it's convert that random case text into proper case letter. Next formula we have which is rapid. For the help of this formula we can repeat any number. Imagine I have some numbers here. Now I have to make a chart bar according to these numbers. For this type equals sign. And then time the name of formula. Open bracket. Then type inverted commas. In the inverted commas type capital I, then add comma. Now select the number cell. Close the bracket and press enter. Copy the formula down. And if you want to change the view, change the font to impact. So now you can see it's a like a chart. Next formula we have which is round. Here we have some decimal numbers and we need only two numbers after decimal. So we will use round formula. Type equals sign then name of formula. Open bracket. Select the the number cell. Add comma then how many number do we need after decimal. Type that value. I need two numbers after decimal. So I will type here too. Close the bracket and press enter. Copy the formula down. Next formula we have which is concatenate. For the help of this formula we can add multiple cells data into one cell. So let's see how it's work. Type equals sign then the name of formula and open bracket. Then select the first cell. Add comma. Then type inverted commas. In the inverted commas give one letter space. Then add comma. Now select the second cell. Close the bracket and press enter. Copy the formula down. Next formula we have which is len. For the help of this formula we can check how many digits are typed in the cell. So let's see how it's work. Type equals sign then the name of formula. Open bracket then select the cell. Close the bracket and press enter. Copy the formula down. Next formula we have which is average. With this average formula we can get the average on specific table data. Type equals sign then formula name. Open bracket and select the range of data. Close the bracket and press enter. Next formula we have which is some product. Imagine we have a client data who's purchased some products with different quantities and we have to sum the total of his charges. So in this case we will use some product formula. Let's see how it is work. Type equals sign then the name of formula. Open bracket then select the range of quantity column. Add comma and select the range of price column. Close bracket and press enter. As you can see we have get the total payment. 
the last formula we have which is code. For the help of this formula we can now any text of code. Type equals sign then the name of formula. Open bracket select text cell. Close the bracket and press enter. Copy the formula down. So I hope these formulas will help you in your work. If you learn anything from this video, then please like and share with others and make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel. For more interesting videos,